Jesus stated in Luke 17, verse 26 and 27, And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. And of course, Jesus goes on from there to share it will be as it was in the days of Lot, when the fire and brimstone fell from the sky to destroy all those that embrace homosexuality. And yes, the reason Jesus repeats himself in Luke 17, verse 27, regarding the marrying wives and then being given in marriage, has to do with normal marriage, wherein a man marries a woman to be his wife, and then homosexual marriage, wherein same-sex marriage was allowed in Noah's day. As I stated in previous videos, global homosexual marriage was the final sinful act of the people that brought on the flood of Noah. Hence the reason they use a rainbow to this day to mock the Lord that sent that flood. And so, as you're about to see in the following video, California is planning to ban the Bible because the truth it contains about homosexuality is offending those that embrace such sinfulness. Check this out. All right, Travis, talk to me about this, Bill. This is uh, essentially criminalizing religious beliefs. And I don't mean to speak in hyperbole here, but if this bill were to pass, would this uh, prohibit the sale of the Bible that teaches these things about sexual morality? Well, literally, according to how this law is written, yes, it would. This is, you know, PC culture, politically correct culture, gone horribly awry. This is really directly hitting at our First Amendment rights as American citizens. Now the Democrat legislators in this building right behind me, the California State Legislature, they want to tell you how to think, what sort of books that you can read, write, and purchase. It is completely wrong. It is absolutely against our First Amendment rights. And I, for one, will be a vocal opponent against this if it ever hits the assembly floor. Right. I mean, th some of the phrasing here, I read it. I read it in the introduction. I want to read it again. They say this, e this includes efforts to change behaviors. I mean, that is the role of parents to guide their children's behaviors. If they are not allowed to guide their children's behaviors with uh, their religious beliefs, then what, what rights do parents even have in the state of California? Which is exactly right. I mean, this is what the Democrats are trying to do in California. This is how bad it's gotten, how far away the California Democrat Party's actually gotten away from even just normal Democrats here in the state of California. They want to tell people how to think, what sort of books they can read, what books they can't read. Remember, this country is founded upon the freedom of expression. And now the California Democrats want to take even that away. Right. And, and tell me, I mean, you're in the assembly. You work with these people. I know you respect your colleagues, but who is behind this? It, this is the whole liberal agenda. I mean, this is what they've been trying to do now for, for decades, literally in California. It's just gotten so bad because no one's been able to stop the Democrats in California that now their true designs are, are, are really starting to show themselves. This is all of the Bay Area liberal elite groupthink that we're now seeing in the chamber behind me. Remember, the California legislature has been run for 39 of the last 40 years by the Democrats in California. They have super majorities in both the Senate and the Assembly that was only broken recently by their own expulsions over sexual harassment allegations. So, I mean, look, it's not as if these guys are a clean house. These guys have been trying to do this for a long, long time. It started out with, you know, this whole concept of politically correct speech, which, thank God, has been blown out of the water by our president, Donald J. Trump. Now they want to tell you not only, you know, what is it polite to say, but what here's what you actually can say, what you can't say. Here's the sorts of books you can read and can't read. And by the way, uh, as this bill is written, uh, it would be banning the Bible uh, in California. Right. And there is some irony, by the way. I want to go back to that point you made. There is some irony that the same party who lost their majority because of sexual immorality wants to ban books that are guidelines on sexual morality here. And there you have it. Whether they pass the bill and make it law no longer matters. Christian prophecy is going to be fulfilled and every sin known to man is going to be normalized and the Bible that condemns it all will legally become hate speech in America and all around the world, in fact, just as we in the remnant church have been warning people about for decades. Pray for these lost souls that they find Jesus and come out of the sinfulness that perverts their minds to thinking homosexuality is normal. Thank you for watching. God bless.